The first senior I'm going to talk about is Bella, Bella Lowry. Bella is the first player here at NSU that got to play uh, all four years for me. Um, the poor girl was recruited by the previous coach here at NSU, and then she was stuck with me for, for all four years. But um, hopefully she, she learned a couple things from me. Uh, her grammar, I know I was always correct in her grammar. That's one thing that she probably learned, even though I can use some help with that too. Um, but uh, I always tell her though, all kidding aside, I always say uh, I may not have re recruited her uh, personally, but I, I, I surely would have uh, recruited her, absolutely. Just uh, not just from her tennis game, she's a heck of a tennis player, great athlete, but also um, just a good all around person who, uh, who cares about her teammates, her friends, her family. Um, so she's just, she's just a great kid. Um, she's been through it all with us. She's been through playing uh, a couple years ago. We, we played most of our matches with only five players. Uh, even some of those matches we had to play with four. Um, and she just kept plugging away and she, she had a, a great attitude even then. And then she even, um, and then she went on from those, those years to uh, being on the best team ever in our program's history, going 22 and five last year, uh, finishing number six in the country, making the SSC finals, uh, beating Barry in the semifinals of that tournament. Um, she was a huge part. Uh, of, of all of this. So she's been through it all, the highs, the lows. Um, as a freshman, uh, she finished number seven in the country in doubles. And that's outstanding uh, to, do, to, to do as a freshman, especially in the toughest uh, conference, toughest region in the country. Um, she gained All-American honors. She earned that as well uh, for doubles. As a freshman, that's um, pretty remarkable. Uh, just to go over her stats for her career, uh, outstanding. She was uh, 39 and 14 in doubles in her career, and her singles uh, is 19 and 27. Um, she probably won't like hearing that, but 19 and 27 is uh, really, really good because her freshman year, um, she had a tough go at it, and then she just turned it around and worked so hard that summer and came back and did unbelievable in singles and doubles again. Um, nobody cares about NSU or the Sharks tennis team, uh, and all of NSU athletics really. You see, you always see her at all the games. Uh, like Bella does. Um, I always say when you try to improve your teammates, uh, you, you in turn improve so much and you, you're always going to th thrive and keep improving and, and no matter what you do, uh, simply because you care about others, you get people around you better. Um, your passion, your energy, it's, uh, it's contagious. Um, sometimes you hear coaches talk about um, a kid being a, a coach's dream. Uh, Bella, you define this. Um, she, she goes harder than anybody in any drill, any exercise, whether it's in a weight room, on a tennis court, whatever. She goes as hard as she can every single time. Um, and you can't teach that. Um, in all four years here, she's never wavered from that. So thank you, Bella, for always putting in that effort. I always say I don't require you to win. I just require you to try. Um, I'm going to miss having you in, our, in the first row in, in our van trips. We always had some good talks. Your humor was always funny. The singing, the dancing. Um, I always remember poor Zevin, our trainer, being beside you and while you're singing and dancing on the way home from the, com from the conference tournament, just the look on his face uh, was hilarious. You will be missed, but I know um, you're a South Florida girl and you're gonna be out here supporting. And I know you're gonna be around here because anything even uh, just barely north of here, when I say north of here, just a couple hours north of Florida, it's way too cold for you. So anyway, thank you for all you've done, Bella, and we will miss you.